This might look like Lamu Island, but we're actually in a beautiful luxury homestay here in Karen. Welcome to Menzili House. So to start the tour, we're out here in the entrance of the main house of Menzili House. So welcome to Menzili House, and this is the main house on property. The way that this house is actually situated is there's a bedroom in each corner, so there's four bedrooms in the main house. And then you come over this side, there's a nice seating area, there's a fireplace. I'm really hoping that it's going to be cool enough tonight to enjoy a little fire. And then we have a dining room area right here, probably where we're going to have our meals. As you can see behind me is the bar and kind of kitchen area as well. Then we come over to our room, which is called Giardini. <laughs> she means Giardini. <laughs> so welcome to our room. We have a king size bed in here and a day bed, which I already tested out. And for a day bed, it is actually really comfortable. Over on this side, we have a desk here, which I'm sure David's going to end up working at at some point this weekend. And then into the bathroom. So with the layout of these four rooms in here, there's three of them that have showers and one of them has a bath. I couldn't resist. I did choose the one with the bathtub in it. <laughs> so I did leave the best feature for last because of course we have to do that. Our room actually opens up to a little tiny terrace here. We even have loungers right here, but it opens up into the garden basically. And the pool behind me is stunning. So then we come over to the other side, and this one is completely detached. I believe this one is actually called Toto. So let's come in and see this one. So the main difference with this one is the fact that it can actually be rented as self-catering. Um, so whether you rent out the thing for long-term stay or just a weekend, up to you, but it doesn't have to be self-catering either. So you have your kitchen, you have a little dining area there, seating area, and again, another fireplace here, which is fantastic. This one is only a two bedroom. Um, you have a smaller bedroom there, kind of the standard, same like the other ones. But this one actually has a master bedroom. With this, you still get your king size bed, but your bathroom, it's huge. Let's go see. So on second thought, um, no, it's not the biggest bathroom. <laughs> but the difference with this bathroom here in this bedroom is the fact that it has a tub and a shower, which is unique compared to all the other rooms. This is the rooftop. And on top of here, there's actually like a very multifunction area. So you have behind me where there's kind of like a dining room area. You could have like a barbecue or have your meals up here, which is fantastic. And then you have some of these open spaces, which would be a great spot to do yoga in the morning, whenever you want really, um, or any meditation. But it really fits the vibe of this place. And basically it comes down to, this place really feels like an oasis here in Cairn. You look out your bedroom window and it looks like you're at the coast, has that Lamu style, but you're not. You're just in Cairn. It's a beautiful and very warm day here in Nairobi, so there's only one last thing to do. The pool. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Give me, give me them good times, good times. Nothing, nothing but good vibes, good vibes. Give me, give me that sunshine. So this pool is very nice, but the sun is going down and now I'm freezing. Burr. So time to change for the evening and I am so pumped about showing you my outfit because I've been wanting to work with that company for a very long time. So one of
what I'm wearing right now are the AO joggers in black and the crew elongated t-shirt in white, both from Guts. So here are a few things that I love about Guts. First of all, the quality. The material is just fantastic. Second, minimalistic branding, which I truly appreciate. And then the fit. I'm normally medium in every brand or almost, and these are really true to size. The pants fits perfectly. And I mean, look at this shirt. Waist, chest, and the arms, they even make them uh, look bigger a little bit. Outfits from Cuts will make you look good for date night, but also provide you with all the comfort you need for a long travel day or to work late through the night. So if you want a sweet and versatile outfit just like mine, make sure to visit Cuts with the link down below. You're gonna get 15% off, and like, let's face it, I'm probably gonna wear this outfit for the rest of the video. So it's time to relax a little bit, and we found some red wine, and it's even Italian red wine, so I'm pretty excited. Well, that was a nice and relaxing day at Menzilli House. That was fantastic. Um, Italian red wine, which is personally our favorite. And special fantastic. shout out for... The lasagna. <laughs> so I'll try and keep this short and sweet because I could rant forever. But basically, it reminded me of a recipe that my mom makes back home. So it kind of made me a little homesick. It, it was, was like super fantastic. good. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm super pumped about going to bed and not waking up early tomorrow because this is not a safari guys so you we can haven't just set a 5 30 alarm in like four five six weeks yeah i'm so excited for you i'm gonna enjoy this sleep good night morning how are you so we had a fantastic sleep um we came up to breakfast we have some fruit yogurt granola and coffee on the way of course <laughs> so it looks really good one of my favorite fruit is like kiwi. And I feel like in Kenya, we never eat kiwi, but here they have some. And it's really good. For main breakfast, we have a beautiful omelet, some toasted baguette, sausages, bacon, beans, and I do appreciate the little pieces of avocado. Very good breakfast. So because Menzeli House is actually in Nairobi, in the Karen area, there's a bunch of different things that you can do, like the Sheldrick Trust uh, Elephant Orphanage, yeah. the Draft Center, but also a bunch of delicious restaurants. There's actually, Karen has a lot of good restaurants, and yep. this place is actually dead center to all of them. Um, so one of them is including Cultiva. So we're gonna go to Cultiva for lunch. Yeah. We've actually only been here once, um, but it is really good, and we have some friends who are heading out, so we're gonna have a last lunch with them here. Okay, so. Cultiva, actually really good. To be honest, I think it was actually better than the first time we went, in my yeah. opinion. Like one of our friends had like some duck tacos and I tasted it, that was, I would yeah. suggest those, like those were very good, but like the pizzas, oh my goodness. The yeah. pizzas are so good, the crust is just perfect. Yeah, it is really, really good. And I have to say the dessert was fantastic. Yeah. We had like, I don't know what it was. It's kind of a brownie at the bottom with like some banana custard, yeah. something, something, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So overall, so, uh, yeah, I would suggest. And we, check them out because they are a farm to table concept. So they are really interesting. Yeah. Um, we actually yeah. made a full video about them. So I'll make sure oh, to yeah, uh, link it down it. below. Yeah. Now we're going back to Manzilli House. Let's go. We're back. Ugh. It's not that nice outside. So I think we're just gonna take it easy for the first time in like weeks and weeks. Yeah. Watch some movie, tell each other that we love each other so much. <laughs> 
dumbass. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna wait for another five star dining experience. If it's as good as like the lasagna yesterday, I'm gonna be very impressed because that was so, so good. Me or Agnes, if it would help them get what they want. That was a great supper. I do have to say the food, they do fantastic food here. Um, so we're gonna get ready for bed and have another glorious night of sleep. Where we, we don't, don't have, have to, to wake up, up tomorrow. At 5.30, <laughs> it's fantastic. We love safaris, but like, you know, sometimes oh, yeah. it's nice to like do have nothing. A chill with it. Yeah, and this goes with the vibe of the place. It really does. Relaxing. Meditate? No, we don't do meditation, but maybe we should. Actually, maybe we should. To be honest, yeah, we probably should. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> So, Manzilli House, sorry. <laughs> so, overall, first of all, let me, uh, you good? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alive. Highlight the food. The food was very good, especially oh, the vegetable mm. lasagna. Like, that was so, so good. Fan, freaking fantastic. Service, very nice as well. Yeah. It's very small, right? So, like, there's, like, pretty much two staff that they're taking they're really care of you. And they're, service. like, pretty much there all the time. So, like, you kind of build a relationship yeah. with them. So, that's very nice. Yeah. And then the place itself is beautiful. Because you're in Karen, but you <clears> it feels like you're on the Kenyan coast. It is 100%. beautiful, especially if you want those cool Instagram photos. Like, I mean, it's very nice here for that. Special mention, too that we didn't say the wine is fantastic oh, the yeah. wine selection very nice wine selection italian really wines are favorite so yeah. anyway two, two thumbs up for that <laughs> um so one thing i would just say to keep in mind when you're booking here where it is a luxury homestay and not a hotel um like you said saw us in the tour this house has four rooms and the rooms are off in each corner mm -hmm. your main area is shared <clears throat> perfectly fine but if this place was full I with would, people you don't know. Yes, I would say that you would be, if they want to stay out in the main area and you were going to bed, I would say you would probably be able to hear them. The doors are like this thick. Um, so again, it's perfectly fine, but just something to keep in mind, like this is definitely not a place you're coming to like blast music or anything like this. It's a very like quiet, serene oasis yeah, exactly. place, so which has its time and place. Like yeah. we did enjoy that, that it was very quiet. <laughs> what I would suggest if you come here as a couple, maybe get the house on yeah. the other side. So like the house is just yours. And if you want to come on this side, get three other friend couples yeah. and like rent, rent the, the full house. Thing. And that would be like a 10 out of 10. It would be like yeah. really cool. But if you come here with other people you don't know, you kind of will be forced to mingle, which is not a negative no. thing. But if you want to like kind of romantic getaway and just want to be together, then yeah. like that could be an issue. Yeah. So yeah, I am kind of sad that it rained. We got in the pool once and I would have loved to enjoy the pool more, <laughs> but that's okay. It's rainy season. Exactly, nothing we can do about that. Um, definitely, if you are here, I'm gonna try and keep this short, but there are a lot of good restaurants around too. The food is absolutely fantastic. You don't need to leave. No, no, no. but if you want to, you can. There's, There's a, a lot ton of good around. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. We're gonna pack up, head Go back. back. Home, which is not too far compared to the coast. No flight needed, so that's pretty I good. I know. So yeah, until then, see you guys. In the next one.